Okay, I kind of want to show you how to do a um, honeycomb brioche in the flat. Um, knitting it flat rather than circularly. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you have a spare knit on each side where all you're doing is just a knit. So what you want to do is you want to knit the first peg. Then you want to do the slip yarn over and knit two together, I mean purl two together, slip yarn over, purl two together. Now when you initially you're starting this to get it started you're going to follow the same way as if you're doing it in a circular way. But this is after you get started which would be your second round kind of thing. So you're doing this slip yarn over because you're skipping this step but stitch but you're also doing a yarn over keep that in mind because you're going to want to understand what that means on the next row so you're going to go in and you're going to do this all the way across and then knit the last one. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to knit the first one, then you're going to knit, then you're going to knit the slip, okay? And what that means is you're going to not touch that yarn over, okay? So knit, knit the slip. So you're knitting the slip stitch. Knit, knit the slip and you're going to do that all the way across and when you knit the slip you don't touch that yarn over okay because that's what gives you that really nice appearance okay that layer that's extra that shows up in the stitch okay So you're going to do that all the way across. It's really not much different than doing it in the round. You just, um, you're alternating which side you start off with to do the yarn over slip section and then the knit the slip section. So you do two rows of this where you knit the slip. Okay, and you knit that last one. Now you're going to go back and you're going to knit, then you're going to knit the slip, and then knit one. And you're going to knit the slip, and then knit one. Knit the slip, and then knit one. Do that all the way across. and that is row three. It's a six row set to get back to where you started at. So do this all the way across and this will be row three. Okay, the next row, which is going to be the fourth row, you're going to knit the first one like that. Then you're going to the slip yarn over and then purl two together. Slip yarn over, purl two together. Slip yarn over, purl two together. And basically you're just purling two together while skipping every other peg if you want it. Look at it that way. So this is the fourth row of the set. And then knit last, that last peg. Okay. And this is going to be the fifth row of the set. So you want to knit the first one, knit, knit the slip, knit, 
knit the slip, knit, knit the slip, knit, knit the slip. And you want to do that all the way across for row five. And what you'll notice is that it, for it flat, it'll be written the same for the first three rows and the second three rows, which is a little different than if you're doing it circularly. Then it's not quite written up the same in that way. And see, you can see that yarn over sitting on top. You may have to dig up the slip stitch and knit that last peg. Okay, for the last set, to finish the set off, this is the sixth row. You're going to knit that first one, knit the slip, knit, knit the slip, knit, knit the slip, all the way across. And this is your sixth row of a six row set. And when we finish this row, you start right back at the beginning of the video to continue this kind of patterning. You will want to work with an even number of pegs. You don't want to work with an odd number. You want to work with an even number. And that will keep things running smoothly. And at the last one. So that is how you do the honeycomb brioche stitch knitting a flat panel rather than knitting a circular panel. So really not much different and fairly easy once you get the hang of it.